eight. That, the number of homicides this year in the city of Troy, and the community there has had enough. Just this week, three men were arrested in two Troy murder cases. These two men, Daniel Router and Jacob Heimroth, are charged with the murders of Alan and Maria Lockrow in their home on August 20th. And then Jeffrey Brown, who you see here being led into court, is accused of second-degree murder in the shooting death of Robert Rivera in the victim's apartment in June. Well, today, members of a brand new citizens coalition called Take Back Troy got to meet face to face with the city's mayor and police chief. They're trying to work toward finding a solution to the violence. Craig Smith was there and joins us now from the Lansingburg neighborhood. Craig, tell us more on what they discussed. Well, Dory, tonight we saw two different approaches. We heard from people who would like to see their neighbors do more along with police. And then there are others who think they'll have success too if only their neighbors will help in spreading a message of peace. Put the cops back in control. Well, I understand what you're saying with that. Yeah. And now, yeah, well, hang on. At City Hall, a group dubbing itself Take Back Troy finds an audience with the police chief and mayor for a couple of hours. Their suggestions include collecting a safety fee from college kids, putting cameras in unmarked police cars, and reviving an aggressive street crimes unit. Some ideas about reinstating the unit, how that can be done to make the PBA and the chief happy. Chief John Tedesco says he doesn't have the cameras and says a street crimes unit would necessarily have to focus on shootings that he says almost always involve young black men. So I don't really think in this day and age the community will accept me enacting a unit, taking an order to go out and profile young black males. I'm not putting either the officers or in the city in that state. At the same time in a nearby park, several pastors proposed a long-term solution. They would sense the conviction and they would turn away from what they're doing. Joining them was Marty Stanton, an ex-con who spent seven years under maximum security. He got religion in prison and uses it to keep young people out. They listened to what I had to say because I've been there. You know, I started out in crime at a very young age. And the last time I went to the parole board, the lady looked me in the eye and said, I'm looking at a career criminal. But I wasn't a career criminal because I was changed. And the only thing that changed me was God. And I tell them that. And you'd be surprised how many children get it because they see the real deal. You reach them with love, not judgment. And if you can reach not just the kids, but the parents, because that's the root of it. It begins at home. The police chief told the Take Back Troy group they might want to consult with another neighborhood watch group in the south end of the city. The chief says that group has some sophisticated ideas about policing one's own neighborhood. In Lansingburg, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.